Hello, I'm Kimber, and welcome to the Nave News Update. It's Friday, October 5th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. U.S. Senator Tom Udall, Vice Chairman of the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs, along with 12 other U.S. Senators, are introducing the Native American Voting Rights Act of 2018 a landmark legislation that provides necessary resources and oversight to ensure Native Americans have equal access to the electoral process. In 1948, Tom's grandfather, Levi Udall, served as the Chief Justice of the Arizona Supreme Court, where he authored the opinion extending the right to vote to Native Americans then living on reservation. His grandfather wrote in the opinion that to deny the right to vote is to do violence to the principles of freedom and equality including the establishment of a first-of-its-kind Native American Voting Rights Task Force, which would authorize funding for tribal state consortiums to bolster Native voter registration, education, and election participation efforts in tribal communities. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. As the month begins, the Strong Hearts Native Helpline announced that 1,000 callers have now reached out to the helpline for safe, confidential support and resources for domestic violence and dating violence, shining a light on the deep-rooted issues of violence plaguing tribal communities across the United States. Since March 2017, the Native Hotline has offered a culturally appropriate space for victims, survivors, their families and friends, service providers, and abusive partners to reach out for help. Steeped in Native cultures and traditions, advocates navigate each caller's abuse situation with safety, compassion, and respect. Created by and for Native American communities, Strong Hearts is uniquely designed to serve a population facing some of the highest rates of domestic violence in the United States. Tribes, even as a sovereign nation, face significant jurisdictional hurdles when addressing domestic violence in their communities. Gaps in culturally based supportive services create unique barriers for Native victims seeking help. For more information, call 1 844 7 Native. The National Native American Hall of Fame will host its first inaugural induction ceremony on October 13th in Phoenix, Arizona. Twelve Native Americans have been chosen and will be honored in the first class of inductees. The twelve inductees include Lionel Bardot, a longtime educator and the first president of Cinte Galeska College on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. Eloise Cobell, who was the lead plaintiff in the groundbreaking class action suit Cobell v. Salazar. Find Deloria Jr., an author, theologian, lawyer, historian, and activist, widely known for his book, Custer Died for Your Sins, an Indian Manifesto. LaDonna Harris, who is the founder and president of the Americans for Indian Opportunity. John Harrington, who is a retired United States naval aviator and former NASA astronaut. Alan Hauser, who is the sculptor, painter, and book illustrator. Wilma Mankiller, who was a community organizer and the first woman elected to serve as principal chief of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. Billy Mills, who was an Olympic gold medalist in the 10,000 meter run at the 1964 Olympics. And Scott Mamaday, who was a novelist, short story writer, essayist, and poet. His novel, House Made of Dawn, was awarded a Pulitzer Surprise for fiction. Lori Piestoa, who was the first Native American woman in history to die in combat while serving in the U.S. military and the first woman killed in the Iraq War. Maria Tallchief, who was an American ballerina and was considered America's first prima ballerina. And Jim Thorpe, who was considered one of the most versatile athletes of modern sports, who won gold medals in 1912 and played professional American football, baseball, and basketball. Future plans for the Hall of Fame include a traveling exhibit and an educational curriculum for youth focusing on the vast array of accomplishments by Native Americans in modern times. For more information, you can check out nativehalloffame.org. Each year for the past 35 years, the Phoenix Indian Center hosts the Arizona American Indian Excellence and Leadership Awards to celebrate those in the American Indian community who have demonstrated outstanding leadership and commitment to the advancement, promotion, and development of the cultural, educational, social, economic, and political welfare of the American Indian community. This year's award ceremony will take place November 14th in Scottsdale, Arizona. Gabriel Ayala, a musician, composer, photographer, two-dimensional artist and designer, will be taking home this year's Man of the Year. As an artist, Gabriel infuses his cultural heritage into all aspects of his artistic expression. He endeavors to show the youth that they can become anything they dream of maintaining their cultural identity 
while preserving within two worlds, traditional lifestyle and business landscape. Through hands-on seminars and presentations, Gabrielle demonstrates to the youth how education has been one of the most important elements that has helped him succeed in business. Gabriel is the recipient of numerous awards and has been recognized in many aspects of his art forms, including Native American Musician of the Year, International Artist of the Year, the Governor's Award, Arts and Cultures Award in Canada, and several others. Actor, choreographer, director, and educator Michael Gray Eyes will receive the 2018 August Schellenberg Award of Excellence from the Imagine Native Film and Media Arts Festival. The Award of Excellence, also known as the Augie, is an annual prize that recognizes significant professional and personal achievement by an Indigenous actor of any gender from North America. In a career spanning 31 years, Michael Gray Eyes has moved fluidly between stage and screen, from his work as a dancer with the National Ballet of Canada to diverse performances in Bruce McDonald's Dance Me Outside to his title role in the TNT original Crazy Horse. Most recently, he has appeared in AMC's Fear of the Walking Dead and in an acclaimed performance as Sitting Bull in Woman Walks Ahead. He can next be seen in the third season of HBO's True Detective and as the lead in Jeff Barnaby's feature film, Blood Quantum. Gray Eyes will receive his Augie Award at the festival's awards presentation on October 21st at TIFF Box office in Toronto, Ontario. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day. Step into Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center. Come and discover everything we have to offer. Unlimited gaming action. Northwoods hospitality. Delicious all-you-can-eat buffet. Relaxation and comfort. Great drinks and good times. Big wins, big fun. It's all here at Seven Winds Casino Lodge and Conference Center in the heart of the great North Woods.